Today we're taking a look at Serif AI, an incredibly powerful tool that I've been using for the past few months that's like having your own personal executive assistant built right into your email inbox. Serif learns your writing styles, understands your business, organizes your email, and then drafts your replies, manages your scheduling, and even builds out full playbooks and processes based on how you work. So instead of spending hours sorting through messages, typing the same response, or juggling meeting requests, Serif handles all of that for you so you could stay focused on the creative work that actually moves your business forward. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything Serif can do, starting from the moment you sign up and moving through email categorization, drafted replies, scheduling, playbooks, and your full knowledge base. And by the end, you'll see how this tool transforms your inbox into an automated executive assistant that saves you time and keeps everything running smoothly behind the scenes. So with that being said, Let's get started. First things first, head over to Serif AI, and I've linked to their homepage in the video description below, and you could start your seven day free trial by clicking the try for free button. From here, Serif walks you through a few quick onboarding questions. I'm gonna move through these pretty quickly for the sake of the video, but you could take your time and answer everything here so Serif has the right information about your work and communication style. Then once you're done filling this out, you'll reach the account creation page. And here you could sign up using either your Gmail or Outlook account. Just choose your provider and follow the prompts. Serif will then guide you through the connection steps and then automatically begin analyzing your writing style and email history. This part takes a few minutes and you could watch the progress as it works. Then while that's happening, you can also complete your billing information. Even though Serif asks for it up front, you still get a full seven days to try everything for free. And then after the trial ends, the plan is only $20 per month. And honestly, at this point, I can't imagine managing my email without it. Serif has become one of the tools that I rely on every single day, and it's hard to picture my workflow without it. So in my opinion, $20 a month is a deal. And then next, Serif asks a few more questions to learn a little more about you. Things like what you do, what your ideal day looks like, the goals you wanna reach in the next quarter, and whether you already work with an assistant. And these questions are actually really important because Serif's AI uses your answers to start shaping your personal knowledge base and to understand how it should support you. So go ahead and fill out whatever applies to you because the more context you give it here, the better it can work for you moving forward. All right, then once you're done with that, Serif gives you the option to watch this short walkthrough video if you want a quick overview of the platform. Meanwhile, the analysis of your email account should finish up in about 10 minutes. During this time, keep an eye on your inbox. When Serif is done analyzing everything, you may receive a few follow-up questions. These help the AI get context about your work, rates, or communication style. For example, I received three separate questions asking me to clarify details about my packages and media kit. You may get some similar questions or you may not get any at all, but if you do, just reply like you would a normal email. Then a few moments later, I received another message from Serif letting me know that it had all the information it needed to update the knowledge base. The email included a document that clearly summarized my standard rates and pricing structure built automatically from my replies. It's a great example of how Serif learns from what you share and starts building out your personalized system right from day one. Then if we head back to Serif, You'll now see your dashboard where you can begin exploring everything that the platform has set up for you. Your account is connected, your information has been added, and Serif has begun learning your writing style and communication patterns. From here, the real magic starts to show up in your inbox. And I'll definitely show you that in just a second, but next, let's take a look at how the automatic email categories work and how it helps you focus on what actually matters each day. So this is your Serif dashboard, and this is where you'll be able to connect additional accounts, manage your calendar, and access all of your email tools. First, on the left, under the email section, you'll see a tab called Labels. Go ahead and click on that. And this is where you can control how Serif automatically sorts and categorizes every incoming email. Inside the Labels page, you'll see the automatic labeling is already turned on. Serif takes every email that comes into your inbox and assigns it to a category based on what the message is about. 
and you can customize these categories however you want. For example, you can rename a label, change its priority, or even tell Serif to auto-archive certain types of messages that you never need to see. And if you want to create a new label, you can click the Create Smart Label button and set it up in seconds. So here I'll create a label for all emails that are bloggers asking me questions. Simply describe what you want the label to represent, and once it's created, Serif will automatically apply that label to every email that fits that description. So any message that comes into my inbox from a blogger with a question gets organized instantly without me lifting a finger. This saves a ton of time and effort because instead of digging through my inbox or sorting things manually, everything is already grouped for me and ready to respond to when I'm in the right headspace. Then if you ever wanna turn a label off, you can set it to not smart label from that dropdown. All of this gives you control, but Serif is doing most of the heavy lifting automatically. All right, once your labels are set, let's head over to the Gmail inbox and take a look. So this is where you really start to see the difference. Every email that comes in is marked with a clear label so you could tell at a glance what deserves your attention. You'll see labels like need response, FYI, waiting for reply, done, notification, meeting updates, etc. This makes it incredibly easy to scan your inbox without thinking. If something needs your response, you'll see it immediately. If it's just a notification or an update, you can skip over it. And if an email is marketing or low priority, Serif clearly marks it so you don't waste time clicking into it. It takes what used to be a messy, overwhelming inbox and turns it into something that feels organized, clear, and easy to manage. Next, let's take a look at one of the most helpful features of Serif, which is the drafted replies that show up inside your inbox. So anytime an email is labeled as needs response, Serif automatically prepares a reply for you. You can open the message and right in the reply box, you'll see the drafted response that Serif has written based on your writing style and the context of the email. It saves a ton of time because instead of thinking through what you'd say or how to phrase it, you already have a clear polished reply waiting for you. Sometimes Serif will even give you multiple options to choose from. You might open an email and see two different drafts, each with a slightly different tone or approach. This is especially helpful for more important or nuanced conversations because you could quickly pick the version that feels right and then send it with one click. And in cases where Serif is confident about the content, the drafts are usually ready to send as they are. You can always edit them if needed, but most of the time they're solid and sound natural. Then as you continue working through your inbox, you'll see these drafted replies appearing in a variety of conversations, whether it's a brand reaching out about a campaign, a client sending over project details, or someone confirming information. Serif reads the message and writes a response that matches your typical tone. You can review it, make small adjustments, and then send it out without ever having to write the entire email yourself. Now, if you head back into the Serif dashboard, there's also a dedicated draft section. This is where you can control how those replies are written. You can adjust the tone by choosing whether you want your message to sound more casual, more polite, or somewhere in the middle. You can also choose how aggressive you want your follow-ups to be, whether you want same-day follow-ups, one to two-day follow-ups, or something more patient. There's also the option to let Serif generate multiple responses when it's unsure, leave placeholders when it needs more information, or include team members in CC and BCC when appropriate. And then below that, there's also a section where you can input a signature if needed. Another feature that goes hand in hand with your drafts are the rules. So if you select rules from the sidebar menu there, this is where you can create custom instructions for specific situations that Serif might not automatically handle the way you want. And to add a rule, click the add new rule button. And from here, you can write your rules just in plain language. For example, you might want Serif to mark all emails from PayPal as billing. You can create as many rules as you need and Serif will follow them automatically to keep your communication clean and organized. It's a simple but powerful way to shape how your email assistant behaves in unique scenarios. And all of these settings help you fine tune Serif so the drafted replies feel exactly the way you want. And once you set your preferences, Serif uses them automatically for every new incoming email that needs your attention. Another powerful part of Serif is the built-in calendar and scheduling system. 
This is where you teach Serif how you prefer to manage your time so it can handle meeting requests for you. Once it understands your availability, meeting preferences, and the types of calls that you take, Serif can reply to emails with accurate scheduling options without you ever having to open your calendar. So to access it, head back to the dashboard if you aren't there already and look under the knowledge section on the left side and click on calendar and scheduling. This brings you into the full preferences area where you can fine tune everything about how Serif should handle bookings. Inside the general tab, you can set things like how much break time you want between meetings, the maximum number of hours that you're willing to take per day, and how far into the future Serif should propose meeting times. You can also choose your default time zone and decide which connected calendar Serif should add events to once someone schedules a call. Next is the availability tab. And this is where you set the exact days and hours that you want Serif to schedule meetings for you. You can make certain days unavailable, adjust your working hours, or duplicate time slots to build a weekly flow that fits your routine. This makes sure Serif only offers meeting times that really work for you, and nothing outside your preferred schedule. The Remote Meetings tab lets you choose your default format for virtual calls. You can select video calls through Google Meet, or switch to phone calls if that's your preference. You can also adjust the default meeting length so Serif knows how long each session should be unless you specify otherwise. Then if you prefer in-person meetings, you could set those up in the in-person meetings tab. Serif will use this page to understand your preferred meeting locations. You could add your favorite spots, adjust the default duration for in-person meetings, and even set travel time so Serif reserves enough buffer before and after each appointment. That's pretty cool. Finally, the Custom Preferences tab lets you create specific rules for how Serif should handle unique scheduling situations. This can be helpful if you have special conditions that don't fit into the general settings. Then once added, Serif will follow those custom rules anytime it handles scheduling on your behalf. Overall, this entire section ensures that when someone emails you asking for a time to meet, Serif already knows your preferences and can confidently suggest the right slots. It saves you from opening your calendar, searching for opening times, and then going back and forth in email threads. Now let's take a look at the playbook section. Playbooks are where Serif stores the processes, templates, and workflows it's learned from your communication patterns. So to access them, just head back to the left side of the dashboard and click on Playbooks. And this brings you into a clean gallery where each card represents a playbook Serif has generated. And what's really cool is that Serif creates many of these automatically based on how you respond to certain types of emails. So even if you've never built a playbook yourself, you'll likely see several ready to go the moment you open this page. And these cover common scenarios like responding to paid collaboration inquiries, negotiating low sponsorship offers, confirming new partnerships, sending draft videos to sponsors, or answering technical questions from my viewers. And each one includes the AI-generated templates that Serif will use when drafting replies in those situations. And if you double-click on one, you can view the full content. And inside this particular playbook, Serif includes my standard phrasing, my rates, my timelines, and any patterns it's learned from my past emails. This is what allows Serif to respond with such accuracy and consistency when someone reaches out with a similar request. You can also manually create your own playbooks at any time. Just click the new playbook button in the top right corner. And this is perfect if there's a process or response pattern that you want Serif to follow that it hasn't created on its own yet. So add your template, outline the steps, and Serif will start using it whenever it applies. Overall, Playbooks acts like your personal knowledge library. They allow Serif to communicate on your behalf in a way that matches your voice and your business rules, which saves you time and keeps everything consistent across your inbox. The last section inside the knowledge panel is the knowledge base. And this is where all the deeper information about you, your business, and your processes is stored. Serif uses this area to learn the facts it needs to answer emails accurately. Everything from how your business operates to how you handle partnerships to your content workflow lives in here. The more information Serif has, the more confidently it can respond on your behalf. And here you'll see a special folder tied directly to your email account. This folder is only accessible to you and it contains the documents that Serif has created automatically after answering analyzing your inbox, and learning your patterns. When you open the folder, you'll see categories related to your business, and for me, they are business operations and monetization, content creation and management, 
brand partnerships and sponsorships, professional profile and platform details, and communication and workflow processes. Each category contains documents that Serif generated to summarize how you typically operate. For example, there is a document here outlining my sponsorship requirements, another explaining my affiliate marketing strategies, and one describing how to manage YouTube content and production timelines. Then if you click into any of these documents, you'll see a full breakdown written in natural language. Serif compiles these from my email history, sponsorship threads, and negotiations, and the way I communicate with brands and viewers. And this is what allows the AI to understand my rates, my expectations, processes, and my style without needing constant direction from me. You can also expand your knowledge base manually. At the top right, you'll see options to upload a file, create a new document, or create a new folder. This is helpful if you have standard operating procedures, pricing sheets, or brand guidelines that you want Serif to reference. And adding them here gives the AI more context and helps it make smarter decisions when drafting responses or managing your inbox. Overall, the knowledge base acts like the brain behind Serif. It holds the long-term information that informs your playbooks, your email categories, your drafted responses, and even how Serif speaks on your behalf. And the more complete this section becomes, the more powerful your AI assistant will be. All right, so that's everything you need to know to get started with Serif AI. As you just saw, Serif works like a fully capable executive assistant that lives inside your inbox. It categorizes your emails, drafts your replies, manages your scheduling, builds playbooks from your workflow, and organizes that knowledge that it learns about your business. And once everything is set up, it takes a huge amount of work off your plate and lets you focus on the projects and partnerships that matter the most. And if you wanna try Serif yourself, check out the link in the video description below. You can get started for free and see how much time it saves you within the first week. And also, if you found this video helpful, feel free to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorials just like this. All right, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step-by-step. -step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.